Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can build a SR flip-flop using SL latch. So in the previous tutorial we saw uh, that we uh, can design SL latch using NAND gate so we are keeping the consistency in this diagram too and you can see that in this diagram we have built an SR flip-flop using NAND gate. Okay, so in this diagram we can see that uh, this part right here, the boxed part here, so inside this rectangle we can see that this is basically an SL latch this is what we built in the previous tutorial so the left part right there so this is the uh, new part for this diagram alright so overall this whole diagram is indicating an SR flip-flop so let's see how we can derive some equations from this diagram so here we can see that the main inputs are S and R and here uh, these were the main inputs for the latch uh, since both of them almost have the same name so we can just distinguish these by uh, putting star as a superscript for both S and R alright so this would be S star and this would be R star and the main inputs for the flip-flops would be S and R alright so now uh, from this diagram we can clearly write the equation for S star and R, and R star alright so let's write the equation for A star. So A star is basically the output from this NAND gate, right? And in, in this NAND gate, we can see that there are two inputs. One is S and another is this clock pulse right here, all right? So we can write S dot clock whole prime, since this is a NAND gate, all right? And from De Morgan's law, we can uh, write this as s prime plus clock prime all right so now now i'm gonna say something which you need to remember is this that uh for a circuit to be a working flip-flop all right for a circuit to be flip-flop the clock pulse need to be w needs to be one all right the clock pulse needs to be 1 that means clock needs to have value as 1 so if clock has a 1 uh, as its value then from this equation we can write s prime plus 1 prime right and 1 prime equals to what 1 prime equals to 0 all right so s prime plus 0 basically produces s prime so what I got from this equation is that s star equals to s prime similarly we can calculate the equation for r star and if we calculate the equation for r star we would get r star equals to r prime just like the previous one you can try it yourself so what I did till now is that uh, I've just derived the equations for s star and r star and whatever I did here is actually already written here all right s star equals to s prime plus clock prime etc and then finally s star equals to s prime and r star equals to r prime all right and we still have two inputs s and r right so basically there would be uh, four possible combinations right so zero 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 one one zero and one one all right so zero 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 one one zero and one one so if s equals to zero and r equals to zero then from these equations we can get a star equals to one and r star equals to one if s equals to zero r equals to one then a star equals to one r star equals to zero if s equals to one and r equals to zero then s star equals to zero and r star equals to one and finally if s and r both are one then s star and r star both would be zero all right so whatever we have calculated till now we can write them in a table all right so look at this table right here so take a look at this rectangular part over here so s r s star r star so whatever we have calculated here it is already written in this table right and there are two outputs as usual you can see from the diagram that there are two outputs q and q prime q is the main output q prime is just the complement so these are the outputs all right 
so now what we need to understand is how we wrote these values right here this memory no change 0 1 1 0 so how did we write those okay we need to understand that so let's try to understand that so as you can see that here's the truth table for s a latch which, which we actually calculated in our last tutorial so this is the truth table for s a latch now we want to derive the truth table for s r flip flop and we're going to do that using the help from s a latches truth table all right so these a star and r star so think about them so a star and r star are basically the inputs of s a latch right so let's go back to the diagram for a bit all right so think about those a star and r star so a star and r star are basically the inputs of s a latch right so now go back to the table so this is a star and r star so basically these are inputs for the s a latch and we already know the truth table for s a latch right so we can write these values q and q prime based upon the s a latch's truth table for example if a star and r star equals to 1 1 that means we go back to the SL latches truth table and we uh, try to look for this combination 1 1 here 1 1 and for 1 1 it was written memory slash no change and we can write the same thing over here memory slash no change for s star equals to 1 and r star equals to 0 all right we can see that q equals to 0 and q prime equals to 1 and here is the same stuff q equals to 0 q prime equals to 1 if s star equals to 0 and r star equals to 1 alright then q would be 1 and q prime would be 0 and it's written same here so q equals to 1 and q prime equals to 0 and finally if both of them are 0 0 we can see that uh, this was an impossible state and we wrote not used in the output and we can write the same thing here too so basically this q and q prime are written uh, from the truth table of s a latch alright so now since we have completed this whole table here we can just ignore the columns for s star and r star this that means uh, basically we can just ignore the uh, columns indicating the inputs for s l latch so if we can ignore that then we get s r q and q prime all right so this is what it this is what is written here so we just ignored the columns for latches input and we kept the flip-flop inputs and this becomes the truth table for SR flip-flop alright so now we have derived the truth table for SR flip-flop using the truth table of SR latch that is why we actually tried to learn the truth table of SR latch in our previous tutorial because that is absolutely needed to understand the truth table for SR flip-flop Alright, so this is it for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we'll be learning how we can derive the characteristic table and excitation table uh, for SR flip-flop using the truth table of SR flip-flop. So thank you everyone.